Howdy, I'm Sam Feifel. I'm with SparPointGroup.com, and uh, I'm here at Spar International 2012 with Gerald Bolts from ZNF. How you doing, Jared? I'm doing fine. Great. So uh, everybody's been talking about you guys have this uh, augmented reality application that you're showing at the show. What are you, what are you doing here? Yeah, what we did was we cre we scanned a statue that was donated by our headquarters in Germany. Then we created a 3D mesh out of it based on the scan data. And uh, as you can see back here, we, uh, we also created a 3D uh, printed model. And mm -hmm. then we created this nice little augmented reality postcard. So how does this work? So if I hold the postcard here. So all we got to do is uh, cooperating with us. So we got to point the phone at it, and we got the model that pops up on the screen there. Look at that! You can kind of spin them around. There's buttons in the screen where you can also watch the videos of how it was done. Nice. That's killer. So, I mean, is this just for fun? Is there some sort of, you know, kind of application that you're demonstrating? You know, what's the sort of takeaway for attendees from this? Well, the application we're looking for is more, type, more in the museum industry. So, say a historical artifact is scanned. They take it to a museum, and then all these kids put their phones. They can bring it, scan the barcode. Then they can see this artifact right, right in front of them without having to travel thousands of miles away. Exactly. Um, you know, is there anything special you got to do in terms of the scanning, or you know, what's the sort of workflow? Is your average sort of scanning provider going to have these tools already, or do they need to sort of start picking up some tools? Uh, we partnered with an Italian company to, to develop the app, mm -hmm. but it's, it's as simple as creating the model out based on the scan data and then providing that and we can create the, uh, the augmented reality. Great. Print it right, right on a little postcard and we can use it from there. That's right. Well, one of the, my, a lot of people don't even know what a QR code is yet, so <laughs> augmented reality might blow their minds a little <laughs> bit, but uh, I'd love to see you guys moving forward. This is great. All right, thank uh, you. Is there anything, you know, anything else that you guys are talking about at the show or what, what's the sort of other big news in the ZNF world? Oh, we're also showing off our new profiler. Mm -hmm. um, it's the profiler 9012. It's our newest unit capable of running at 200 rounds per second uh, based on the measurement system from our Imager 5010. Um, specifically designed for mobile mapping, rail applications to be implemented into a larger system. In real terms, what's the benefit of it going that fast? Well, we have um, much. Uh, we have more possibility to go with faster um, speeds on our, with our mobile platform and have uh, the profiles closer to each other. We have, in this case, 200 profiles per second that we can uh, have on the ground. If you imagine this with uh, other systems, like going from putting from 50. Um, uh, profiles per second, so it's uh, definitely a big advantage. So how fast can I drive now? <laughs> okay. I Depends can on the at 100 miles an hour? <laughs> well, if, if it's enough for you, to, if you're stable enough at 100 miles <laughs> an hour, It'll I work, can, yeah. I suppose you should definitely do this, <laughs> <laughs> to try this out.